Guy who was seven of ten from three, not taking that three and driving for the layup there in the final seconds. Yeah, I mean it's uh, you know we were crowding him, trying to give up no airspace, run him off the three point line, and, and um, you know I'm I'm not in there, you know it's none of my prerogative to discuss it other than the fact that you know for us we just wanted to take away the three with him. Um, you know he played as good a first half as any player that I've coached against in college, and that's including. <clears throat> A lot of lottery picks that we've got against. I thought his offensive performance tonight, meeting, meeting Wells, was, I mean, seven for 10 would be hard to do with just sitting in the gym alone. Um, and their three point shootings, as good as any you know team that I've seen, I can't remember any of our teams ever giving up 16 threes. Um, so defensively, we got some things that we really have to get better at. We weren't guarding the three, and we weren't guarding them off the dribble drive, and we were fouling too much. So all those are three areas that we've, that we've really got to get better at and improve, but we're a new team. Um, the rotation right now is discombobulated, meaning, uh, you know, it's, it's T. Will's first game. Um, so now you're trying to work him back in. You put him in the starting lineup. Matt Nolan doesn't play. He's a guy that we've relied on to be our sixth man. Kevin Patton, um, you know, has been out virtually, you know, since he stepped on campus and now he's available. So there's a lot of things that we still um, are going to work out. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's uh, offensively, though, um, you know, 22 assists, uh, super happy with that. Um, 10 turnovers is not bad, you know, with the fact that we had two or three in transition. Um, and scoring, you know, the points that we did tonight is all super positive. The, the negatives are uh, at the, uh, on the other side of the ball. Two games now, you guys haven't been able to separate, I'm sure, the way you'd like. Just what do you attribute that to? A little bit is the rotation. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, it's it's uh, not having Williams last game really hurt us. But if you, you know, if you just if you just look at the stats and you see, uh, you know, Williams go seven of ten, Cohen go eight of ten, Claude go nine of twelve, Yates six of nine, Patton two of four. Uh, that's pretty doggone impressive. And then, uh, you know, Saint at his position to have seven assists is, is, is a good number. And he had, you know, he had seven and seven and eight. So he had a, um, you know, a, a pretty good floor game as well. Um, again, we led for 33 minutes. They led for three minutes. Obviously a closer game than we would like but both games, but you hope that these close games can kind of help you gain confidence um, in late game situations once the year continues to to Coach, unfold. Coach, again, um, once again, you lost the rebounding battle to a team that's much smaller. What what can you do to straighten that out? I, I know you're working on it, but doesn't it have to get better? Well, yeah, it has to get better. I mean, that's. Um, but they uh, they had three offensive rebounds. Uh, which is a which is a pretty low number. So they had a lot of defensive rebounds. They out rebounded us defensively by four. Um, we didn't have many offensive rebounds either. Um, but yeah, that that's got to improve. And uh, obviously, at your center spot, when someone plays 21 minutes, you know we need them to have more than one rebound. Um, that's an area um, that we got to get better at. Desmond. Claude and I had discussed him being a better defensive rebounder tonight. He went out and got five. Um, so our center spot, we've got to rebound the ball better. Um, but I also elected to go small. Um, and that has a lot to do with why we scored 98 points. So it's a give and take. Are you going to play more rebounding physical guys or are you going to try to space the floor and, and outscore somebody? And tonight that was the decision, whether it was right or wrong. Um, obviously, it's the rebounding, the dribble drive, lack of shot blocking, those are all things that um, that we know are there and we got to improve on. Desmond was especially assertive late. Is that you telling him to kind of take things over? Or is that him feeling it out and feeling he was the best option? Yeah, we felt like uh, when they went man, which was you know not a lot, that we could run middle pick and roll in our 45 brush set um, with our five setting it off a down pin for four. Um, and he did a great job taking it. You know, we, did, we I thought we settled um, for a stretch with threes. It was like we were trying to match them three for three, um, which, you know, we didn't need to do against this team because of their lack of shot blocking, our ability to score in the paint. Um, you know, we probably should have had more, um, you know, paint points than we did, and we had 50. 
um, but I thought it should should have been 60 to 62. And um, look, we're a, we're an evolving team for sure. You know, we're not a we're not a finished product by any means. Do you think that closing out games is going to be a consistent struggle for this team? Well, I don't think. I mean, we we're not struggling to close out games because we we've, we've won two games that were right, three point. Right. We, we haven't been able to separate um, when we needed to. Um, uh, we hope that we'll be able to, to separate better once uh, we get, if I'm not comfortable subbing right now, they're probably certainly not comfortable. And I'm not comfortable because like I said, I mean, Matt Nolan is a, a security blanket for me to call his name as a six man uh, through two exhibition games and through two regular season games and, and he doesn't play. So that, that affects our team. Terrence Williams affected our team. Uh, in games one and two, because you can see what he did. I mean, if he if he doesn't play tonight and he has back spasms, we don't win the game. And so, um, you know, Kevin Patton, if he is out one more game, his 13 minutes was valuable to us as well. Two more. Uh, you know, um, what about Buzo? He seems to be struggling with his shot. Yeah, I mean, I think he's a guy that um, you know has, has made a lot of shots throughout his throughout his career, and we want him to con continue to shoot the ball with confidence. Um, he does take some defended shots. We've got to do a better job of trying to get him a little bit more airspace on his shot. Um, but you know, he's a guy that's going to have you know some big scoring nights and, and and other nights where that's what happens when you know when your when your game is is kind of a three and D game, which. Um, which Buzo is, and, and uh, you know, out of his seven shots, five were threes. So, um, you know, hopefully he'll he'll you know get back in the gym and get, regain confidence as well. We talked about Wesley after the opener a lot. You seem to be more and more comfortable the more he plays. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're trying to you know look. The fact of the matter is, um, we don't have a natural point guard. Um, we knew that when the when the roster was being put together, we made a decision to slide Des over there. Saint is kind of a de facto, um, you know, point guard. Um, we think Des is continuing to learn the spot. I mean, even Clark is more of a uh, more wired to score and run around off the ball and and uh, backdoor cut and and uh, and Wes has has been a natural scorer his you know his whole career, and now we're asking him to to come in and play some points. So. Um, a work in progress, um, but Wes has provided some really good scoring spurts for us, for sure. And, and, he, and he adds athleticism and he adds uh, physicality because he is a guy that can, can go to the basket and, and, and score with contact. Thank you, Coach Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.